To edit the web template, first log into the Corporate Control Center. Once logged into the Corporate Control Center, click on Website and Web Template Setup. Choose your respective site from the list and then click Next. Once in the web template, there are different options. The first option is to use my existing website, not SiteLink Store, as your primary website. If you choose this first option, you will be provided with links or URLs at the bottom of the screen for your web developer to put information, specifically being able to take payments and reservations and displaying your unit sizes on your existing website. If you do not have a website already, you can use SiteLink Store. To use SiteLink Store, which is a website created for you that allows you to take payments and reservations, click on Use SiteLink Store. It pops up with a message that says, You are changing the URLs of the home buttons. Please click OK to confirm. Click OK. You'll need to check that you've read and accepted the SiteLink Store terms and conditions. You can read the terms and conditions by clicking on the following terms and conditions link. Once you've chosen Use SiteLink Store as my company's primary website, you will see a URL that's listed here. This is your URL, but it is set to be from SiteLinkStore.com. You can certainly send this link in your notices, in any form of communication to allow customers again to take payments or reservations. However, if you want to purchase a domain name, that domain name can be forwarded to this URL. If you have questions on how to do that, please contact us in support. The next tab is SiteLink Store website. You can browse and post a facility picture. You could remove the picture from your website by clicking on this button. You can set up store attributes by clicking on the link. The store attributes appear on your website. Once you've edited or changed any unit attribute, click OK to make those changes. At the bottom section, we have the SiteLink Store homepage content. Type in any verbiage that you would like to be seen or shown on your SiteLink Store website. The next tab is Web Template E-Commerce Gateway. By choosing this Web Template E-Commerce Gateway, we have multiple options and choices. Number one, we have the Appearance tab. You have choices such as removing the Home button, removing the Storage Tips and Tools button. The Storage Tips and Tools will show prospects what a typical size would store. Remove the Contact Us button, show the Reservation button to allow online reservations, remove the web page header, and hide the company address information on the reservation page. These are all choices. There's no right or wrong. It just depends on what you want to be displayed with your web template. You can change different colors for your website, background color, text color, links, background color, and table header. Choose the Pick a Color option, and you get a template and you can choose what that color is and click OK. Logos and files, you can browse to a company logo, browse to a mobile logo, remove either one, and then browse to a terms and conditions policy if you have one. For the contact tab, what is your home button URL? If you're using the SiteLink store, that will be displayed here. If you're using the website, you can change this particular URL put in an email address and or call center email address either one of these is not required but the home button link URL is for messages you can have a business vision a unit overlock message login screen text and terms and conditions there's an option to prompt tenants to read and accept these terms and conditions prior to submitting online payments for a credit card you can disable online payments if this is unchecked it is enabled you can choose your credit card processor. The credit card processor will be determined based on your settings on the site level. For ACH, you can disable ACH online payments. If you uncheck this, it's enabled. The ACH process will be based on your settings on your site level. For rules, you have options, for example, allow tenants to edit their contact information. If a tenant does change their contact information online, you will see that in their notes screen in the SiteLink Web Edition. It will show their previous address and their new address. Allow tenants to update their credit card information. You can have web payment notifications either from email only, bulletin only, or email and bulletin. 
You can have web account registration notifications, again, from email only, bulletin only, or email and bulletin. You have a choice of whether or not you allow partial payments or if you require full payments. Options for credit card payments being disabled. For example, in this case, if someone is 30 days past due, they can no longer make a credit card payment online. They would have to come to the facility to make the payment. Same thing for ACH. If they are X amount of days past due, in this case 24, they would not be able to make a payment online. Show this number of months of most recent payments. In this example, it's 12. Some facilities don't want to show the full history of what's being paid. They may want to show three months, for example. You can change it by clicking on the option here. Select your country's currency. For reservations, similar to the payments, you can have your web reservation notifications and your web appointment notifications sent to you as email only, bulletin only, or email and bulletin. Require payment of a reservation fee when taking online reservations. Show unit push rate on the reservation unit selection table. Display only unit types currently available on the reservation page. And show the availability of unit types as yes if they are currently not reserved and not rented. These are all choices. None of these are set in stone. You can certainly check or uncheck depending on what you want to have available. And lastly, we have number of days reservations are honored. You can set that value. The final tab is layout. Normally, you would use the default CSS, the code that determines the format of the web template. If you are an expert, you could use the custom CSS by selecting this value. Click Save to make any changes. Once all of your defaults have been chosen, you can come to the bottom where it says URLs and other required information for your web developer. You can save this instructions to a file, or you can email the instructions to your web developer, or copy and paste these links. These are the links that we put into your website. For example, your link for payments. If we click on this link right now, it's going to take us to what it would show on your respective website. Your website is going to have the pictures that you want, the layout that you want, but you might have a button that says, pay online here. When they click on the link from the payments and tenant account management it's going to bring up this respective website once we're finished with looking at or copying the links click close close again and then the X to exit the screen